after that. Getting it crispy, getting it toasty. A master of his craft. Move over Burger King. Chachu's in town. The new sheriff, Ande Wala Burger. Okay, <laughs> so we have just touched down in Islamabad. We're here for the second time. We're gonna be filming for a Ramadan show. But today, we're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna get acclimated into the zone. Have some chai, have some food. See what's up in this city. Let's go. So, when you come to a place like Pakistan, there's really only one way to get, to get into your environment. Let me show you. Assalamu alaikum. Egg, Kashmiri chai. Gotcha, let's go. This is how it's done. So this pretty, beautiful looking drink is called a Kashmiri chai or a pink chai and it's known to reduce stress, anxiety, help with heartburn, all three things that I deal with on a very regular basis. So here we go, our first try of Kashmiri chai. Bismillah. Oh yeah. So the million dollar question, how is this chai pink? First and foremost, it's with these leaves. They use green tea leaves mixed with a pink flower that gives it the color. Then they add milk, some grounded nuts, and let the soul do the rest. So now after the chai, we have warmed up. Now it's time to cool down. Get into the, get into the zone. Egg orange. Is that right? Am I speaking the right language? Ali Hamdani. How do you say thank you in Urdu? Shukriya. Yeah. Shukran. Why? Don't, don't, don't doubt yourself. Believe in yourself. Except when you really think you're wrong. Then don't. Then ask Ali Hamdani. Now we're about to try our freshly squeezed orange juice. We'll get that vitamin C level up. Cool off. Bismillah. The breathing out is what signifies how good it is, how refreshing it is, how soothing it is. The effects of the chai is also extended to this juice. Really feeling calm, really feeling cooling off. So as we were ordering the juice, a couple of Pakistanis who also live in Dubai uh, told us to come and sit with them, just meet, uh, chill, uh, speak a little bit about Pakistan slash UAE. Let's go see them. You know, there's a big, huge Pakistani community in the UAE. Why do you think there's so many Pakistanis that go to UAE, that work in the UAE, that live in the UAE? Opportunities. UAE is the land of opportunity. What has your life been like as a Pakistani living in the UAE? Proud that I'm representing my country over there. I'm participating in a growth uh, of UAE. Yes, I feel so good over there. The people of the UAE and the world to know about Pakistan and the people of Pakistan and why they should come here. Right now, maybe you are not aware, but Islamabad is the second beautiful capital in the world. Secondly, we are the people of love. We want everyone to come and explore the beauty of Pakistan. How is my outfit? Yes, that is kurta. Unfortunately, I have only one kurta. I thought he was going to talk about Unfortunately, there is a bit of... It's a bit tight. Patan cap. Yes. Represent. So now these gentlemen have kindly invited us to clay pot tea and it is different because it's like actually made in a clay pot which enhances the flavor, changes up the flavor. It's a different experience when you're drinking chai out of a clay pot. We're gonna try that now. Alright, so now we're gonna have our clay pot tea at... Um... Okay, I'm gonna have to read this. Boom Boom Cha G D Cha Cha's and chai. No mask, no, no food. No mask, no food. Trying the chai now, testing it. Now he's not happy. He's back to it. I see. It's not good enough for him. It's not good enough for any of the customers. Oh man! Look at that. It's getting a, it's getting another cooking. That's uh, that's cream he's putting on top. As if it wasn't good enough already, he wanted to add a bit more niceness on top of it all. Shukriya. Bismillah. Oh, I'm excited, man. This is this is the good stuff. Okay, that is the richest tea I have ever had in my life. The karak that has been frothing, the milk that has been frothing, the tea that has been brewing for like, you know, God knows how long. 
And on top of that, this thick cream. The weather's starting to get a bit colder now, so if you come and have this, it'll be warm for the rest of the, rest of the week here. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> so good. So happy right now. So now I'm feeling hungry. I wonder what a Pakistani burger would taste like. All right, so we're here at Chachu Burger Point in Islamabad to try the Andewala Burger. And I first heard about this in a viral video like years ago where this uh, reporter in Pakistan was trying to do his job, but these people were making it hard for him. Uh, show, show, the, show the clip. <laughs> I had to try this. I had to try a legit Pakistani burger. So we're here to try it. Andewala burger. Uh, one Andewala burger. Ek. Yeah. You can see already the, the Pakistani burger, like the, the, the legit one, is made in like a longer, like a hot dog style bun. So this is the patty. Now their patties are a bit different. So it's minced meat with lentils, all smashed up to make these beautiful patties. And it's like kind of spread on the actual bun. Now they're gonna put an egg, cook that egg up and put it on there too. That's like a mint chutney, a veg. I'm not a veggie guy. I like to get straight to the point, but hey, you let the master do his work. Bit of the hot sauce, mayonnaise. Getting it crispy, getting it toasty. A master of his craft. Move over, Burger King. Chachu's in town. The new sheriff, Andewala Burger. Chachu, shukran, shukriya. So finally, after years, the Andewala Burger. Dipped in some chutney sauce, some hot sauce. Just the first bite of this. So, alright, yalla bismillah. You know when you have high expectations of things and you know when you, you've had it, we've been waiting for all this time and you finally get it and it meets every expectation, the softness of the bun, that you can taste every single thing that's in this. Nothing is hidden. The omelet, the patty, it's just mashed on there. All these flavors and sauces all coming together to bring this magic just happening in your life. Thank you, Chachu, for this magic. We love you. Hi. Good? Yes. How's everything in Islamabad? It's very nice. Happy? We are out for like something, something dinner. Okay, yeah. who do you like more, Salama or Khaled? Oh my god, Khaled. that's Khaled. difficult. Khaled, Khaled. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Salama. We all know Salama. I don't want to get in trouble when I get home. One, two, three. I know we're in Jamil's sweets, and uh, Salama always warns me about my sweet tooth, but we always gotta end things on a sweet note, right? So we're gonna have some Pakistani jalebi. Uh, another one of my favorites right here. It's gulab jamun. <laughs> but I'm uh, on a diet, so I'm just going with the, with the deep fried flour and sugar syrup. That should be enough for me. As with all things in life, we end them on a sweet note. Bismillah. I think this is a beautiful way to close this video, on a sweet note. You know, I've only been here a few hours now and I'm reminded of why I fell in love with this country from the first time I came here. The people are incredible and, and make me feel that I'm home. And I think whenever you visit a country and you feel at home, you're inspired to discover more. And that is what I want to do this time. So join me on the journey. Until next time, much love, God bless, Pakistan's in Dubai. in Peshawar.